In 1934, Hitler hired prominent German auto designer Ferdinand Porsche and his company to develop a car for the common man, known as a people's car. However, only a small number of these cars were produced before Germany initiated World War II in 1939. Porsche instead started designing and building military vehicles to aid in Nazi expansion. Throughout this period, Volkswagen used more than 15,000 slaves from concentration camps to build their cars. It even built the Arbeitsdorf concentration camp near one of their factories, where they kept a skilled workforce of slaves. After the end of the war, British Army officer and engineer Major Ivan Hurst took control of the Volkswagen factories, and in 1998, Volkswagen agreed to set up a voluntary fund that would benefit the victims of the slave labor they used.